So I'm sure by now you've heard all about the lunar crash and you're probably fed up with it being shoved down your throat. But as hard as it is, it hit a lot of us in the crypto industry, one way or another. Whether you was investing in Luna like I was and lost tens or hundreds of thousands, or you're not, and it has an effect on tokens or coins that was on its blockchain, or put a lot of fear in the market. Now, as you can see here, you know Luna was trading at well up of $119 a coin, and now it's fell down to like multiple zeros to the cent. Now, this is lower than some of the shark coins were actually launching back in the bull run. But the most important thing here is, how can we not fall for Luna again? Well, the fact of the matter is you can't. All cryptocurrency is pretty risky and volatile but luna was even more risky and volatile looking back at it now how its founder or creator was so arrogant in going in a lot of billionaires to try and test or attack the token to arbitrage it or sink it now that's just speculation but the actual tweets were out there now what's coming out the back of luna is people are saying that they want to try and fork it and create more tokens in order to try and revert the token into a community token. Well, here you can see the founder of Binance saying that is a particularly bad idea because creating more of the token doesn't increase the value, it dilutes the value, which we all know that. That's why a lot of the tokens and coins do a burning or a fire pit. Now here you can also see that the efforts to do that will actually make the coin or token fall flat on its face. Now you leave a comment below whether you think that's the case or not, but for me, I think the whole thing's a load of BS and the fact that Luna's actually been arbitraged and people like the CEOs of Binance have been done by it and lost over 1.6 billion Binance did, people like me and you cannot really beat ourselves up too much. Now here also the block community say that the Terra community is against doing a fork of the token, saying that it had almost 1,000 votes on the poll and 90% reject the fork for the same reasons that it will just dilute the token. Now here, if you don't know, saying last week the stable coin lost its peg to the US dollar, which is UST, United States Terra. And here it says also that a fork in term used change in a blockchain structure in the case it would be a very significant change that starting from scratch. The updated Terra blockchain would allocate portions of the supply to the previous holders of Luna and UST. Most of the tokens would be subject to vesting periods of over three to five years. Now, I don't think anyone's really going to be buying into this. I don't think the the people that lost the things get free tokens but there won't be no value i think people have been scared off luna i think anything we'll try and do with it now probably won't be substantial or sustained and we just have to have a look at what we are investing now i didn't personally lose anything in the actual luna it was more you know sort of pegging and staking and also the anchor protocol now it is bad and yes we are pretty much down I've been dealt a shot across the bow, so there's not a lot I can do about it. Am I going to have to pick up? Yes, we are in an absolute shot of a market, though. So I'm just going to quickly show you the state of the market. So here you can see the whole of the crypto market is absolutely tanked. We are down to these low areas here of around about 1.2, just climbing to 1.3 trillion. We've smashed through the actual safety zone, which we were bouncing off for most of 2022 between these kind of support and resistance here. And now, obviously, crypto is in an absolute funny place it doesn't know where to go it doesn't know whether we should be coming out of the fear and going up we don't know whether we should be more fearful and coming down it's literally just left everyone in limbo now the total supply here is also like that this is without bitcoin and we're looking at around about 710 billion so you can see bitcoin is still flying in and carrying majority of the weight here so for me the crypto market is pretty much in a limbo state you can even see here that bitcoin is doing exactly the same but obviously in the lower regions we were bouncing off this kind of safety net of 38,000 for a long time now this literally got obliterated and now put Bitcoin firmly into a spiral. Now here you can see again, it's just going pretty much sideways. So what would we like to see here from Bitcoin? Obviously everyone's gonna say it's gonna go up, but for me, 
this would see it as a consolidation period now if we have a look here and put some lines in we can see that this is the kind of resistance area here around about 31 so we need to get back up above this kind of line and cement this kind of area here now we are trading in some very tight channels here but we can see we are going slightly to the upside but we don't want to be looking at anything below 30 or 28 now i know the terra luna things caused a lot of issues there but we need bitcoin to get to the higher highs now here also here what i'm also with ethereum ethereum doing exactly the same thing but also if you have a look at a lot of the old coins they have taken a bit of a smash now some of them are coming back pretty nicely with a couple of relief rallies of around 10 percent like htr always has a nice little relief rally but again it's all just following bitcoin if you have a look at these kind of movements and patterns here they are following bitcoin so we need to see where bitcoin goes we need bitcoin to sort of go straight up here is the bottom line this was a kind of my wyckoff kind of scenario and this was the kind of support lines of consolidation period we were breaking out this nicely then obviously a lot of funny business in the market happened and we just literally sank down now here for me if we can get back above this bottom line which is only at 32 33 000, i think we have a have a chance of seeing some nice peak things but i think because of the fear and greed in the here you can see it's at eight now this is the lowest i've seen it in a hell of a long time i mean yes this should be the time where millionaires are made where you should be buying but i just think the way the crypto market is at the moment i would firmly want to see bitcoin put in a bit more solidarity of lines first before i start aping in luckily i'd sold out a lot of old coins i hope everyone else did and i have got some to like reinvest in to try and recover my massive lunar losses but for me, the extreme fear is in the market. Now, also, we need to look at the rainbow chart for Bitcoin. As you can see here, it is saying it's in an accumulate stage, but it is borderline buy. So for me, I think now we're looking at the time to pretty much look at now dust off the water, brush ourselves down, get rid of this past stuff, and then gradually start slowly getting back into the market. But again, it's important to do a lot of research. Now, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please hit that like button, smash that subscribe button to click that bell notification. But at the moment, I don't think we should be looking to fork Luna. I think there's a lot of fear in the market that could tip Bitcoin over the edge. So we just need to steady as a ship in the water a little bit but it is time to gear yourself up if you've got any funds left to start buying them altcoins or definitely some tokens and coins you want to get into if however you're underwater just hold fight just hold tight hold fast and hopefully we'll see some shoots of green to start putting that bit of euphoria back into yourself and dampening that fear but as always trade smart trade safe and don't get wrecked